This is the Business Maker Show, heard on the radio and seen online at thebusinessmakers.com. It's guest time, and our topic today is the Up Experience, because with me, I have the co-founder of the Up Experience and the junior Up Experience, Cheryl Rapp. Cheryl, welcome back to the Business Maker Show. Thank you for having me. You bet. Tell us about the Up Experience 2013. I know most of our viewers and listeners know about it, but I'm certain there's some that don't. Um, we are in our sixth year of the Up Experience. Very excited about that. Congratulations. Thank you. It's an event here in Houston where we bring in 12 to 16 thought leaders from all over the world, experts in their fields who come on our stage for 20 minutes each and describe their perspective of what's ahead. And we cover every topic from medical breakthroughs to what's new in technology, the environment, the economy, social issues, global issues. So it's an incredible, very intellectual day all about what's ahead. And kind of patterned after TED, right? Sure. My husband actually went to the first TED 25 years ago. Wow. Um, and he would come back so incredibly inspired and, and charged up and... and um, just coming back with all these different action plans of what he was going to do, we decided to start attending them ourselves and other conferences. And we came back one year and said, why doesn't Houston have something like this? There's got to be this intellectual community in Houston that would love this type of rapid fire um, information from experts from all over the world. So we created up. Right. And there, there are a few differences in it. I know the uh, one that I particularly like is sort of the up close and personal sessions after the major Big Ten session. That is uh, literally one of my favorite parts of the day because as, you know, as we attend all these conferences all over the world, it's very frustrating to hear these amazing people on the stage. You just want to ask them a question or hand them your business card or make a connection. You can never do that. And trust me, I attend these conferences all over the country. No one has this. So what we created is the day divided into four sessions. So the first session, three or four speakers will speak their 20 minutes and then we break. Those speakers go down the hall into huge Q&A rooms and the audience has a chance to go down and spend the next 30 minutes with one of the speakers or two or three or four of the speakers that just spoke on the stage. And it's Absolutely amazing. The first day, the first year, we had about a 15-minute Q&A, and it's gone all the way up to 30 uh, because it, our attendees have said, "Please give us more time." Uh, to you know, they they found this group of people, like-minded people, in that Q&A, in addition to hearing sure. these intimate conversations. So sure. it's terrific. Well, well, I have to sort of interrupt your flow and tell you my favorite sessions like that were both mm -hmm. with Don Sadaway last yeah. year with MIT with the liquid metal battery. And the prior year, Saul Khan. Jeez, what rock stars those two guys are in their categories. Absolutely. And we'll be hearing a lot more from both of them Great. in the future. Definitely. Great. Okay, so tell us about this year's lineup. So what I do to decide the lineup is, is really very... Um, Precise. So we, we survey the audience and we always ask them, what topics are you interested in hearing about? And what speakers have you heard in the past that have affected you or that you think are, are working on incredible projects? Right. And we really get an incredible response from our audience. I wow. love our audience. So, you know, people think I do a survey, no one reads it. I mean, I literally read every word and I make a, a action list from okay. that survey every year. Um, and then I take that with what's going on. I read every periodical out there, Popular Science, Wired, Fast Magazine, uh, I mean Fast Company. I read as much as I can about what's current and what's going on and, and what's ahead, the future society. I just got back from that conference. Okay. So we make a list of all these different topics and people that are doing amazing things. And then I travel to go hear them speak. And I travel to different conferences. And one thing I learned from the first year is that I just don't put someone on our stage that's written a great book or um, that is working on a project that's fabulous. They have to be able to deliver a passionate 20 minutes that will evoke change in my audience, whether it's their business life or their personal life. So um, not everybody can do that. That's, Absolutely. that's a gift to be able to be a passionate storyteller and an expert in their passion or whatever their, their specific field is. So we took some of the information from last year. One of them was body language and reading people and how to tell if people are lying. So we searched out uh, Janine Driver, who has written the book, and I have the book right here, uh, You Can't Lie to Me. Okay. Uh, and she is fabulous. Ernie and I saw her uh, 
six months ago at an event where we sat there for an hour and a half and we don't sit anywhere for an hour and a half for right. one speaker. And, and Ernie is also the co-founder yes. and also your partner in life. Yes. Your husband. My husband for right. 30 years. Sir. Okay. Um, so we sat there with our mouths open for an hour and a half listening to her and her incredible knowledge. She worked for the CIA and helped them uh, for, I think it's like 20 years. Yeah. Cool. cool. So she's incredible. Um, and we're bringing her to the Epic Experience and, si and excited she's going to be there teaching us all about body language. Great. Great. Um, the next speaker is David Agus, and he wrote the book, The End of Illness, and it is fabulous. I have that one, too. All right. Uh, we've already started implementing incredible things that he's put. He's an, uh, an oncologist that truly believes we need to take charge of our own personal health care and um, wants to prevent cancer cool. uh, from happening. And so... He's written an amazing, easy-to-read book on simple steps that we can all take, uh, proven steps. So I'm excited Dr. Agus is coming to Houston. Cool. Then we have Alan Savory. He is an incredible, incredible founder of the Savory Institute. And he's going to talk about the decertification of our grasslands. And it is a simple, simple process, but it is changing the world, and especially in Texas. And in fact, we found two farmers uh, about an hour outside of Texas that have been using his holistic, holistic methods for years, and they're gonna, we're bringing them down to just give a brief uh, little summary of how it's changed their life and the future of wow. agriculture. And so it's, it's to uh, prevent the, di the continuing diminishment of the grasslands. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Cool. Very simple process. Right. So we're right. excited to have Alan right. Savory. Uh, Jason Roberts is coming in from Dallas, and he is this amazing community outreach uh, person that had literally making changes within the community by using social media. So he rounds up the community and evokes this unbelievable change for the better in all these different areas, from bike trails to beautification to walking trails. And it's he started in Dallas, and now he's sought after all over the country to come into the cities to have the communities develop these changes and implement them. One that we haven't announced yet, but will be announced soon, I'm very excited with, uh, about is Mark Goodman. So he is a cybersecurity expert, and he is going to talk about big data and, and the, is he going to scare us all to death? yes he is <laughs> okay but he's amazing okay and what his message is in it and it's really interesting because we're not allowed to film his okay. um he will be giving some incredibly important information for everyone for home personal you you know computer use for our businesses and what to do with all this incredible information we now have and how to not be hacked um into it and it's just, he will blow everybody away. I'm very excited about Mark Goodman. Okay, who's your next 2013 guest? So we are bringing in Nancy Lublin, who is actually the founder of uh, Dress for Success, amazing organization now all over the country. Uh, she has started an organization called DoSomething.org. And she, is, she rallies millions of teenagers all over the world to work on projects, giving back to the community, and to address different issues. Teenagers. Teenagers. Okay. That's who she goes. Okay. She does no email. She does no phone calls. Everything is by text. Okay. And it, is, it, it will blow you away what she's been able to do and what she's uncovered by implementing DoSomething.org, which she will tell us all about her new project. Looking so forward to that. Excited. All right. Then we have Sugata Mitra. He won the uh, prize, the TED Prize this year, the Million Dollar Prize. Um, and we are so excited. He is, if you saw Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, yeah. He's actually created the story for Slumdog Millionaire. So he's in India. He decided to put a computer in the wall outside of his area, which was in this slum area of little kids, and just filmed it and uncovered this unbelievable self-organized learning that these kids did. These are kids that didn't speak English, kids that had never seen a computer, and they completely taught themselves how to, A, speak English, and B, how to solve problems on the computer. Wow. It's a phenomenal story, and he's going to talk about really the future of education and these self-organized learning uh, groups that kids will really succeed with. And, so, and his name again? Sugata Mitra. Okay. And then we have Dr. Eric Topol. Okay, this 
is so phenomenal. Um, his book is called The Creative Destruction of Medicine, and his whole talk will be on wireless technology and controlling and monitoring our health on a regular basis, not just going to a doctor once and they get your heart rate and your blood pressure, and if it's okay at that time, then you're okay. He has created apps, unbelievable digital technology on your iPhone, on your smartphone, that will literally monitor everything going on in your body. Continuously monitor. Continuously. <laughs> How exciting You is talk that? about yeah. big data, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right, all right. Very exciting, it really is the future of medicine. Right, right? absolutely. Very Great. exciting. Uh, we are also bringing down Dan Pilata. So he wrote the book, Uncharitable. Um, he actually is a founder of a multi-day charity event. So he was the first one that did, and I'm not sure which one, I think it was Avon, the two-day charitable event where you get people um, involved for more than a one-day event. Anyway, he, his whole ma mantra is that we should be treating nonprofits like their businesses, like they're a for-profit business. We should be hiring the best of the best to run the nonprofits. We should not be skimping and saving um, on these charities, but yet uh, spending the money where it needs to go so that the charity will benefit. And it's really, it's an amazing talk. I loved hearing him, and I'm excited with all the, charity, all the charities we have here in Houston right. uh, to hear his message. Absolutely. We are also bringing back, or not bringing back, but bringing uh, Avi Reichenthal, and I am so excited about him. He is the CEO and president of 3D Systems, and he is bringing with him six 3D printers for our enjoyment all day it up. So he's bringing the little bitty one that now everybody can have in their home. And he's actually gonna have a few guys carrying them around all day and we can literally watch them printing different things. He's gonna have a very large color one on the stage and we'll have up close and be watching as each layer is printed. Um, and he's gonna have a few other that we can literally see exactly the 3D, 3D printing process. So his whole presentation is on manufacturing the future. Well, it's because definitely changing it because is of 3D printers. It is unbelievable in every different area, right. from medical to, I mean, every area right. it will affect right. um, everyone and every businesses. So I think people will be talking about 3D printing nonstop after they see Avi's presentation and get to experience it all great. day. Great, great. Next, we have Jack Andraka, and I haven't announced him yet either, but I am so excited. He's okay. a 15-year-old that uh, developed a cancer detection, very inexpensive cancer detection for pancreatic cancer, Read which is about now... about in, in the Wall Street Journal, I believe. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Right, yeah. he, he's a powerhouse, yeah. and he is so excited to be coming to Houston. He's just darling. It is incredible what our youth are able to do these, day and I, these days, and I always like to showcase some incredible story of what we call I invented that. So every year we have someone in here who's done just an incredible, in fact, Sal Khan was, right. uh, was in our I invented that category. But uh, Jack Andraka has just done amazing things with can early cancer detection uh, to prevent a lot of different diseases. So we're very excited to have Jack come and tell his story. Fantastic. And I may have a few more up my sleeve. So. Okay, okay. Well, I am real excited about it. I love uh, your comment about uh, it's a requirement that they're passionate about their topic because oh. I can feel that you're passionate <laughs> about yours. T tell us a little bit more about this search process. I mean, hmm. it seems like it could be real exciting, but I guess it's also exhausting. It's, it, you're absolutely right. It's yeah. both. It's yeah. absolutely exciting when you can find somebody right. that can do that, but you got to listen to a lot of people to get to that point. Well, and in, in, in your comment about passion, I'm sure you go into a lot of them thinking this, this could really be cool. And, and it really is, but, yeah. but the person, the inventor, the, the person fighting for the cause is just not able to deliver in that's very important at the app experience, right? It is very important because people remember it. People are affected by it. Um, we've had different speakers that we've fallen in love with what they're doing and they get up on the stage and if they read or if they right. stand at the podium, people right. aren't, they're looking at their Blackberry, they're not right. paying attention. So right. um, they have to deliver their story with passion or at least with uh, an inspirational or an educational uh, presentation that really grabs people or else they won't listen. So. Absolutely. Uh, but your mention of Jack Andraco and his being 15 years old, but tell us about junior up experience as well. 
Well, our first year when we had the Up experience, my son Cody, who was a junior in high school that first year, uh, came back to us at the end of the event and said, oh my God, my head is spinning. I, Malcolm Gladwell was at the oh, first yes. event and oh, Steve yes. Wozniak yes. and Ray Kurzweil. And he just, he was blown away by what he heard. And he said, I am forever changed. My perspective has changed. My future has changed. We need to make this available for high school juniors all over Houston. And he said, I want every economic area of Houston. We were so exhausted. We we're like, Cody, go write a business plan and come back to us. Cause right. you know, just figure it out. So he literally came back with this business plan and created the junior up experience. So we invite 40 different schools to bring their top 10 high school juniors. And it could be anywhere from the best grades, the best essay that they wrote, why they want to attend the most intellectual, they can decide however they want. We just want those kids to want to be there and to learn from these thought leaders. So um, these 400 kids come in for the day and they are literally down the hall in this huge room that we have. And Cody MCs the event and puts it on and he Neat. picks his six favorite speakers from the main theater and they walk down the hall and make 20 minute presentations to the kids. Really neat, really neat. Okay, so what's the date this year of the show? October 24th, Thursday, October 24th. Okay, and somebody's watching or listening right now and is wanting to perhaps check it out and sign up, where do they go? They go to theupexperience.com. Well, Cheryl, thank you so much for, uh, for doing this and, uh, and for sharing your passion and your story with us. Thank you for having me. You bet. That's Cheryl Rapp, co-founder of The Up Experience. And this is The Business Maker Show, heard on the radio and seen right here at thebusinessmakers.com. Mm-hmm.